Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India We are now in a position to prove the structure theorem for finitely generated modules over a principal ideal domain. So let R be a principal ideal domain and uh, suppose N is a finitely generated R number. So we can assume that M is generated by um, some finite set of elements say generated by x1, x2, xn for some positive integer m. Then using these generators we can construct an R module homomorphism p from R to the power m to m by c take the ith coordinate vector here, which we are calling Ei to Xn. And the fact that uh, f is generated by x1, x2, xn implies that this p is projected. And therefore, m is isomorphic to Rm more than a kernel C is a submodule of M, and since R is a principal ideal domain, it's also a Noetherian ring, and therefore uh, kernel C being a submodule of a finitely generated R module is again finitely generated. So let's say kernel C is generated by Uh, vectors, let's call them v1, v2, v. So these are uh, vectors in R to the M. I'm going to think of them as columns. So then you form the matrix whose columns are these vectors v1, v2, vn. And so this matrix has m rows and n columns. And what we're saying is that kernel C is the column space. Okay. So what we have is m is isomorphic to Rm mod the kernel space of uh, not the kernel okay, the column space. Okay, so we have expressed our module, finitely generated R module, in terms of a finite set of generators and a finite set of relations which we have represented by this m by n matrix. Now we know that uh, m uh, R, Rm mod column space of A is isomorphic to Rm mod column space of B if and only if A is similar to B. So let's use that. Uh, so, we also know that A is similar to a matrix in Smith normal form. So suppose A is Smith normal form. Let's call it B and that's B1, B2, Br and then 0 will be there. This as well. Then, uh, then what we have is that M is isomorphic to R M mod column space of A, but A is equivalent to B, so M is isomorphic to R M mod column space of B. But Rm mod column space of B, well, what we are saying here, this 
uh, the colonies of D means this is the sub module generated by D1 times E1. Uh, the sub module generated by D1 E1, D2 E2. Dr, Dr. So these vectors get killed in Rn to give you something isomorphic to M. So this is just the same as R mod D1 direct sum R mod D2 direct sum R mod Dr. And beyond that is R mod 0. So it's direct sum R to the power of uh, so the number of columns here is N. N minus now, it's possible, quite possible that some of these, uh, yeah, we have also this condition that uh, D1, the ideal generated by D1 is uh, larger than or equal to the ideal generated by D2. Now, it's quite possible that some of these D1, D2 and so on are units, but uh, if in that case, R mod Di is going to be trivial. So, disregarding those, what we get is therefore M is isomorphic to an R module of the form R mod. So, now I might renumber these as in throughout the uh, first few DIs which are units. But um, and uh, re renumbering things and so on, maybe changing R is necessary. But what we get is R mod dr direct sum R mod f for some. Uh, so this now none of these are units. I have just disregarded the di's that are units, and so we have that uh, this is a proper ideal d1 contains. And some of this is energy. What you see is that every finitely generated R module is a direct sum of what are called cyclic R modules. R modules are the form R mod uh, di for some um, element di of um, R. And moreover, these elements d1, d2, dr can be chosen in such a way that the ideal generated by d1 contains the ideal generated by d2, in turn contains the ideal generated by d3, and so on. And then there is again a free part, this R mod f. So every finitely generated R module is a direct sum of a finite number of cyclic modules. Moreover, we can assume that the generators of the uh, kernel are have this containment. So this note is equivalent to D1 divide D2 divide D1. So we have seen that every finitely generated R module is a sum of R mod D1 plus dot 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 R mod DR plus some copies of R. Now the question is, is this decomposition unique? So now Suppose we have that uh, M is isomorphic to uh, let's say R M mod column space of D1, D2, Dr and at the same time it is also isomorphic to R of some other uh, uh, you know K mod column space of E1, E2, Es. Right? Even the number of generators, we may have taken a lot of generators, a lot more than we needed and uh, so it is not even clear that M should be equal to K a priori. So let us assume that uh, K is uh, less than M just without loss of generality. 
so then what we can do is uh, we can always uh, change this a little bit and make k equal to m so what we can do is we can make this rm mod column space of and then i'll put a bunch of ones here how many ones i'll put m minus k1 so these will contribute r mod 1 uh, m minus k copies of r mod 1 which is just 0 so it will not change the isomorphism plus and then i'll put e1 e2 es 0 0 so what we have is now that m is isomorphic to rm mod the column space of this matrix or rm mod the column space of this matrix but we have already shown that rm mod column space of a is isomorphic to rm mod column space of b if and only if a is equivalent to b that would mean that this matrix d1 d2 dr is equivalent to this matrix uh, with a bunch of ones and then e1 e2 es but by the uniqueness of smith canonical form this means that these two matrices are actually equal and since we've assumed that uh, r is uh, that d1 is a proper ideal of r it's not d1 is not a unit this implies that m minus k is 0 so implies that m minus k is 0 i.e m is equal to k and moreover by the uniqueness of smith canonical form it follows that r equals s and di equals ei for all i so we have just proved the structure theorem for finitely generated r modules let me write down the statement clearly every finitely generated R module M is isomorphic to R mod D1 plus R mod DR plus r to the power f for some d1 contained d2 contained dr and in fact we assume that d1 is not equal to r and some non-negative integer f so <laughs> moreover R, F, and the ideals D1, D2, DR are uniquely determined by M. That's the structure theorem for finitely generated modules over a principal ideal domain. So here I should say let R be PI. We use that, of course, right? That's it. Yeah.